The instruments that we had in school were kind of the top of the line, the best of the best, the perfect sized handle, perfect sized grip, everything. But then you go into a lot of offices and they have very slim instruments that I think definitely make an impact on how tight your grasp is, um, the way you position your fingers. This is one of five videos made by dental hygienists for dental hygienists to help prevent work-related pain and disability. Dental hygienists need instruments that are light, comfortable, and sharp to do a good job. Using the right instrument helps us provide quality care and can also prevent pain and injury. In this video, we will focus on hand instruments. One day I decided to really pay attention to my ergonomics and watch while I was scaling a patient how I was actually holding my instruments. And to my surprise, I was actually not holding the instruments the way I was supposed to or the way that we were taught in school, the, the ergonomically correct way. Experts agree that the most important factor for getting a musculoskeletal disorder, or MSDs, is how hard we pinch our instruments when doing periodontal work. What is called pinch force is the pressure we apply to dental tools when gripping them with our fingertips. Pinch forces are very high when scaling hard to remove calculus. The second most important factor is how long we use high pinch force when we clean patient's teeth without adequate breaks. An ultrasonic scaler that uses sound waves to scale off calculus can help reduce the pinch force needed. Recent research has shown that when we use manual instruments, lighter, wider diameter instruments reduces the needed pinch force and prevents injuries. The wider the diameter of the instrument, up to about 10 millimeters, the less pinch force is used. Standard instruments with tips weigh 24 grams. The lighter the instrument, for example, 15 grams, the less pinch force is applied. The other important way to reduce the pinch force we apply to instruments is to keep them sharp. We do this by replacing the tips and sharpening them regularly. There are several ways to sharpen the instrument tips. Use a stone, an electric sharpener, or a sharpening wheel. The tips should be sharpened at least once a day. I do sharpen my own instruments, and I did notice that when I was having the discomfort, I started to sharpen my instruments more, and it was less pain for me because it, the instrument was doing all the work. It was great. 